Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomics video on price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. So firstly price elasticity of demand. What is price elasticity of demand? Well price elasticity of demand or PED as we sometimes refer to it is defined as how responsive demand is to a change in price and what that means is how much demand will change when there is a change in price. So how much the demand of a good will change when the price of that good changes. And we have two types of price elasticity. The price elasticity of a good can either be elastic or inelastic. So an elastic price elasticity means that there is a very big change in demand when there is a change in price. So demand is very responsive to a change in price. So this means even if the price rises by a small amount, demand will drop by a huge amount. And inelastic is the opposite of this. A good which is price inelastic experiences only a small drop in demand if there is a rise in price. So it, its demand is not very responsive to a change in price. So price elasticity of demand is how responsive demand is to a change in price. PED can either be elastic, where there is a large change in demand, when there is a change in price, or inelastic, when there is very little change in demand, when there is a change in price. And we can work out price elasticity of demand mathematically using this formula here. PED, price elasticity of demand, equals percentage change in quantity demanded, divided by percentage change in price. And I'm going to use an example of a question here in order to give an example of using this mathematical equation. So our question reads, in March, the price of economics textbooks rose by £5 from £20 to £25. Over the same period, demand fell from 400 units, 400 textbooks, to 375 textbooks. What is the textbook's price elasticity of demand? So firstly, we need to know how to work out our percentage change in each of our things, in each of our quantity demanded and price. And we work out percentage change using another formula. This time, our formula for percentage change is percentage change equals difference, the difference between the two numbers, divided by the original number times 100. So if we were to work that out for demand, our formula would be percentage change equals difference. So our original demand was 400 and our final demand after the price change was 375. So our difference was 25 textbooks divided by the original demand for textbooks, which was 400 times 100. And that gives us a percentage change of 6.25%. And now our percentage change in price. So percentage change equals difference. Well, our price rose from 20 pounds to 25 pounds. So our difference is five pounds divided by our original price, and our original price was £20 before the price change, times 100. So 5 divided by 20 times 100 gives us 25%. And now all we do is plug these into our formula. So our percentage change in quantity demanded is 6.25, divided by our percentage change in price, 25%, and that gives us a price elasticity of demand of 0.25. But what does this actually mean? Does this mean that our economics textbooks are price elastic or does it mean they are price inelastic? And that's the reason I've left that sentence at the bottom there unfinished. So this picture here shows us what our price elasticity of, the number, of demand number actually represents. So if our price elasticity of demand number is less than one, our good is inelastic. Demand doesn't change that much. If it is greater than one, then our good is elastic. Demand does change a lot. If our price elasticity of demand is exactly one, we have a price we have a good which is unitary in price elasticity. And this means that its demands change will be exactly the same as the price change. So if the price rose by 5%, our demand would fall by 5%. They're both the same, 5%. And zero is perfectly inelastic. So this is where no matter what the price is, demand will not change at all. So even if the price was £100 or £100,000, our demand would be exactly the same. 
and for both price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply which I'm going to come on to in a second for both of their numbers we ignore the symbol so for example if I have a price elasticity of demand of minus 0 0.7 I just ignore the minus so our number is 0 0.7 which is less than 1 so our good is inelastic now moving on to price elasticity of supply and this is the same thing but with supply so how responsive how much it will change supply is to a change in price how much supply will change when there is a change in price and again we have elastic so supply will change a lot when there's a change in price and inelastic supply won't change that much when there's a change in price and again we can work it out mathematically this time using the same but slightly different formula of price elasticity of supply equals percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price.